So the Call of Duty community is once again letting themselves go. The Call of Duty community always loves to let themselves go. They are bricked up right now. And at this point, suckers are asking Activision to get that BBC treatment. Bro, like what the hell? Y'all suckers are letting yourselves go like that? But nonetheless, you guys, we have some good news to talk yeah. about. Like this video if you love your mama. Let's go for two likes on the video and check this out. Roll it. Hey, and today we're going to be talking about the Black Ops 6 Gunsmith system and just okay. how it's better than the Gunsmith we've had in previous Modern Warfare entries. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be okay. sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Damn, homies kind of bricked up right now. <laughs> the homies bricked up, bro. I cannot believe it. Like the video, subscribe. Shout out to the homie DK. All right, let's check it out, man. Let's start off with the weaponry of Black Ops yeah. 6. So I'm definitely planning on making a separate video talking about every single individual weapon that's been rumored or confirmed thus far but at wow. least based off the okay. direct event alone and the presentation i got to see how, how many weapons we're getting like three weapons this time like how many Over weapons at we're studios last week it was first confirmed we're going to be seeing 12 never before seen oh, wow, weapons wow. this is not the oh, final God. list of weapons in the game but just the fact that oh, there will be 12 oh, weapons in bo6 at launch that we've never seen before in any other call of duty title but apart from those 12 weapons we're also going to be seeing the likes of the xm4 we saw okay. the cold war the ames 85 the jackal pdw the svd marine sp the <laughs> km pack 90 we've had seen the SVD, bro. We have seen the SVD years, and or maybe not. I think it was. Uh, it was. I think it was Dragon. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But like twelve guys, twelve. <laughs> Instead of 12, can we make it like 13 though? Like the video if you agree, guys. Two, as well as the 9mm PM. That is, of okay. course, a pistol. And I'm sure there's probably a few weapons here and there that some folks may have missed yeah. from the Black Ops 6 Direct and likely a bunch of others that had just not been revealed yet. But apart from the weaponry, this is certainly going to be a big reset when it comes to the gunsmith in Black Ops 6 because, first off, when it comes to attachments, this has been, in my opinion, a pretty frustrating aspect of the gunsmith that we have from MW2, which carried forward into MW3. Yeah. Although yeah, yeah. MW3 ditched the whole idea of like wow. weapon platforms and receivers. Still, when it comes to the attachments, there are so damn many for each weapon class that I agree. you almost need a. And, and the and the gunsmith the gunsmith system is actually good though. Honestly, it is very good. Wait, wait for it, guys. Wait for it. I'm coming to it. I'm coming to it. But right now, I'm seeing a lot of people also ask for that pick ten system though. And, and the pick ten system honestly is very good. I think the reason people are now asking for the pick ten system is because gunsmith has been in like what like four or five games consecutively in the last five years right so a lot of people are like hey change it up right give us something new and you know what the community is like hey we want something new but still would say hey give us pick 10 system Bruh. which is something that, that is not new man but i get it i understand because the gunsmith system has been done over and over and the community is like okay change it up a little bit uh, and uh, also i'm uh, hearing this feedback and i actually agree with this is, is that when people say the gunsmith system has a lot of potential just like he said it has a lot of attachments but it feels like that every gun gets the same attachments it, it, some weapons would have unique attachments and people are craving more for the unique attachments and uh, if they are gonna do gunsmith yeah they are doing gunsmith this time as well I hope that they they give us a lot more unique attachments for the specific weapons as well and I, I hope like every weapon gets some sort of unique attachments I think they need to up that versus hey do versus like give us like all the like thousands and thousands of attachments but every weapon has the same attachments we, we don't want that right like the video if you agree search bar on the attachment menu which i think is crazy i know you can filter them from kind of category of attachment i'm fully aware of that but with black ops 6 we're gonna be taking it down a notch in the sense that you can only put five attachments per weapon but up to eight with a wild card we'll circle back to wild cards in just a minute but in terms of attachments being shared across different classes in bo6 only optics will be shared across different classes so i think that's a pretty wow. brilliant idea to wow. just kind of eliminate a, a big cluster f issue that I think MW has had for quite some time now. And that's something that we didn't really see throughout the Warzone 1 era from MW19, Cold War to Vanguard. Yeah, yeah. But it's something that, again, we've been noticing following Carry Forward in Modern Warfare 3 that I'm True. praying doesn't really ever come back in a future COD. I understand. The Call of Duty fans, stay praying, man. We all are stay praying. It is like that. And the Call of Duty community is the only community on planet Earth that is, like, telling Activision we want to get BBC. Like, what? Like, guys, 
guys, come on, man. Do not remember. No pre-order. Remember, no pre-order. Yes, the news is sounding good. Yes, the reveal is looking good. Yes, even the homie Blame Truth, one of the, uh, the America's number one most toxic and problematic gamer. He has that award. He was given that award. Uh, if you guys didn't, of course, I'm joking around. But, but, but you know what I mean, right? Like, he's considered the most toxic gamer. Even he kind of said that the game is looking good. <laughs> Because it is looking good, it is looking decent, but every game, every Call of Duty, uh, minus Modern Warfare 2023, every time we have a reveal of Call of Duty, everybody's always shaking, everybody's always like, hey, it's gonna be the best game, this is the year, fellas, this is the year, we all do that, we all are like that, okay, minus maybe one of one or two of you watching this video, let me know if you're like that or not, uh, let me know if you get it, if, if you're, let me know if you're shaking or not shaking, simply put, I wanna know where you guys at, but every year it's like the same thing, minus last last year with Modern Warfare 3, with Modern Warfare 2023, everybody was uh, pessimistic about it, everybody was negative about it, because there was nothing to be positive about, especially when they were revealing the game, it was a, it was a DLC, they should have, they should have charged people $20 or $30, or, bruh, forget about that, the, the game should have been free, like, bruh. I like the video if you agree, bruh. And how MW2 and 3 kind of mesh together well, in the sense of the same era of weaponry, hence why there's a- Modern Warfare 3, <laughs> What? Attachment sharing, but Black Ops 6 just doesn't need that. Now, overall, Modern Warfare 19 Gunsmith really just kind of set a standard for how creative class has worked over the last couple of years. Obviously, not each Gunsmith we've gotten in the last five years has been exactly the same, but we're really getting a major shakeup with Black Ops 6, and I think eliminates the idea of like repetitiveness with a new Call of Duty creative class. Now, they didn't touch on cosmetics during the presentation at Treyarch, nor did they really go into that during the direct, but on one of the monitors you can see being used in the live stream, you could see what it looks like a first glimpse of the gunsmith menu which could of course be subject to change it's probably just an alpha build that they were playing with there but you could see at the very top you have your attachment category and then i believe your cosmetic category where you can go ahead okay. and equip some camos probably wow. stickers charms whatever it is you guys want so that certainly is a system coming back the ability to just add uh, cosmetics to your weapons man so you are excited for the, the stickers man it is crazy i remember black ops 4 correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it was black ops 4 and in the battle pass we would get stickers after stickers after stickers and there was a running joke with it I, I i don't remember was it black ops 4 or was it modern warfare 2019 or modern warfare 2022 either one i believe like it was of course it was in all the games but in one game it was a running joke that hey man uh go get your stickers today hop on the call of duty do not miss getting your stickers and lock your stickers there was a running joke with it uh, and, and that should be a given i'd say so there's something that okay. wasn't clarified yet which i'm sure is also going to affect create a class quite a bit and that is the okay. idea of pursuit prestige while you're not oh, wow. forced to prestige you are yeah. inevitably going to lose some type of content when you hit prestige every single Man. time they already confirm you're not going to be losing Man. mastery progress like your challenges or camos but it probably comes down to some of your class slots or certain weapons or just items that you unlock from that level one to 50. I, I think prestige system is better but yeah absolutely because prestige is what makes call of duty call of duty prestige is known for call of duty and call of duty is known for prestige right every time i, I remember back in the days sickers would always ask you uh, like hey what's your prestige right that was the first question hey what prestige are you and then what's your kd ratio right these were the two questions these were the two questions just like there are two questions in life what happens after that and are we alone in the universe or not and as we get down and as we get down to the climax here ladies and gentlemen i want to say i have a second channel this is where we upload ufo content or, uh, paranormal content conspiracy content every single day definitely check it out links are always in description as well all right let's get back to the content now boo boo grind it's unclear how that's gonna work but every time you prestige you'll be reset back to rank number one with a new prestige badge above your head but okay. in terms of how it affects the gunsmith this is gonna be interesting because it's the first classic prestige system with the brand new gunsmith concept right the last time we saw classic prestige was black ops 4 that was Jeez, several years man. ago so i'm really curious Jeez. to see how they're gonna mesh all this together for the launch of black ops 6 obviously yeah. expect blog posts detailing this information over the next few months and i'm man for one of the prestige system we 110% need this one here, guys. Uh, uh oh, we need the friendly AI. We, we need the friendly BBC online as like a prestige. I mean, if they do not do it, bro, because already they're revealing the BBC bundle operator face, right? They have revealed the face. We're getting the operator back, uh, which is a W, right? But we need like uh, him to be on the prestige emblem as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like the video if you agree like the video if you agree as a brown man that's all what i want that's what i as a brown man that's all what i want
I'm sure they even go in depth with some more footage to back this up during the COD Next event at the very end of August. But when it comes to how Creator Class specifically works, fundamentally at least in Black Ops 6, they have compared it to Cold War a little bit. It's essentially a hybrid between Cold War and the gunsmith we've gotten over the last couple of years, with of course a pinch of Black Ops 4. So here's how this works. You'll have okay. 10 custom class slots, 5 default, and even 1 dedicated quick equip slot in your class. We're going to circle back to that. And okay. of course, like I mentioned, you'll only be able to use 5 attachments per weapon, but I'm sure some folks Not out bad. there are going to love bad. using the wild card to go up to 8. Yeah. Now, you're going to see a fair. primary, secondary, and dedicated melee slot in your class. What's cool is the dedicated melee slot doesn't take anything away, so it doesn't mm. become some sacrifice where you're like, hey, I want to bring in a new melee weapon that I unlocked. You don't have to use that in place of, let's say, a perk or something for your exactly. actual weapon. Okay, love that. It's basically like every single year, like the class system is like, like every single Bruh. year. But okay, the new thing I guess is that the the, the melee weapon is not gonna take a point. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. W W. It's not gonna replace anything like that. It's just an extra dedicated melee slot. Now you're also gonna be seeing a slot for your tactical, one for a lethal, and one for a field upgrade. You'll obviously have a wild card slot, and then you're gonna be dealing with score streaks. Right? There's no kill streaks in Black Ops Six. It is a basic score streak system, as we saw in a game like Black Ops Two or even Bo Four. No ability to switch to actual kill streaks. It's unclear if you can wrap or loop these streaks whatsoever i'm sure they'll clarify that in the coming months but that is how the class options will work here inside of the new black ops now something worth going over real wow. quick are wow. the perk tiers so there's going to be three different tiers and you can kind of okay. just break them down by color if you want so we have enforcer which could be green we have okay. recon which should be Damn. red and then we have the strategy okay so they got like the lgtv colors for that as well wow that's actually crazy though just perk which should be blue if you go ahead and equip three of the same sub perk in the same class class you get a combat specialty which is a fourth bonus perk so here's an example oh, sure. right if you oh, equip crap. three green perks right that's the enforcer you'll get yeah. this ability to give yourself speed increases with each kill and increased health regen so effectively mm. quick fix and mobility by running three perks of the same category hopefully that's clear so being able to run multiple perks in the same color category is possible in black ops Love 6 that. which will end up giving you a bonus fourth perk i like the fact that uh the bloodthirsties are coming back of course i don't think they uh, they ever took it out but it just looks clean i think i like the hud I, I i do like the hud and they also said that you will be able to move the hud uh there would be presets and i'm sure they would also let us remove specific things as well if the, the yeah because black ops 4 hud very cluttery black ops cold war very cluttery uh, i would say black ops cold war hud was better than black ops 4 but for zombies man can a brother perhaps get rid of the mini map and zombies can a brother get get rid of the hit markers right it just kills the immersion right and this time i want zombies to have its unique unique hunt that's all i want as a brown man i demand free online for playstation 5 and xbox and also clean huds for Call of Duty and for zombies, I want a zombie screw. I guess they're bringing back a zombie screw, which is actually really, really sick, man. I, I hope that that <laughs> I hope they do not cuck us later on because the first half of this game is looking good. Okay, it, it busts in, but I also want a pausing button. Yeah. As, as a brown man, I demand a pausing button in online. But we're hearing that it's gonna be always online. <gasps> right even zombies and campaign and uh, and everyone is talking about it right because here's the thing though for example i actually gave this example before as well let's just say right like even if you have a good internet connection this applies to you as well for people that don't have internet then forget about it forget about it you cannot play this game which is actually sad right because i know there are a lot of people in other countries that buy call of duty for the campaign i know some of you are probably like hey you're putting your hands on your head like you're like yo who who buys it show me one guy that buys call of duty for the campaign guys I, even i'm shocked but there are a lot of people that buys call of duty for the campaigns and, and i guess this game is also gonna have zombies so you can put zombies as well and you know what fair i mean different strokes for different folks right ever heard that exactly my point but here's the thing though if you don't have internet forget about it but even if you have a good internet what we're hearing right now is that apparently let's just say you're on somehow you magically gets to round 90 or round 100 in, in zombies and then you're like hey man my my best friend uh, on the leaderboards that is if we get leaderboards because call of duty half of the time releases without the leaderboards right Bruh. but let's just say this time they had four years 
and we get leaderboards your own run 100 you're cruising along you're loving it you're firing dopamine and right you're shaking as well you're bricked up and you see and you know because you have seen that your buddy one of your buddy has achieved the great rank or round 101 in zombies so you're like i just need to be like round 102 what could go wrong let me pause the game let me run to the 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 the, the, the take a piss real quick right i'm gonna come back and i'm just gonna annihilate this and i'm gonna be round 102 guess what you go take a piss you come back between that time somehow your internet has disconnected and then you have lost all progress oh, shit. Oh. and your your game ceases to exist and none of your stats none of your progress have saved just think about this for a second man yeah exactly and of course like it doesn't mean that you have to pause the game and run to take a piss i mean when you're playing the game if your internet uh, internet has a hiccup where it goes out for even two seconds normally it can go out for like 30 seconds to a minute right perhaps two minutes because mine does that sometimes so if i'm playing if you're playing and your internet was like okay I, I, it is my hiccup time right and if it has a hiccup well guess what you you snooze you lose ever heard that 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 yeah that's what happens i mean bad example i guess but in this case your internet dies <laughs> your game dies okay your game dies and that, that yeah people are actually talking about it we made a video on it as well but not so long speak, ago i think that's pretty damn cool and a nice trade-off for sacrificing perks of the other two categories if you just stick to one now here are some things that were mentioned during the Treyarch presentation at the studio last week things we didn't really get any footage of in the black ops 6 direct but things that you should know about so first off okay. the shooting range is going to return to test your weaponry it's unclear if it'll be exactly the same as pretty much the previous call of duties that have had shooting ranges where you kind of have three lanes a bunch of dummies you can shoot maybe you can add armor plates to those dummies it's unclear how in-depth this new firing range is gonna go but i know you guys may feel differently about this but i would like it if there's like a bot or two in the new firing range where you can perform a finishing move on them if you want to test yeah, things okay. out that way fair, fair. that'd be a pretty cool touch to change up the firing range in black ops 6 they also confirm what are called mastery badges not really really sure what that means i don't believe these are anything to do with like your actual badges that pop up in a match and being a damn man even a call of duty youtuber doesn't know what's going on sheesh that might be the first time man that might be the oh, no i'm just pulling his leg bro to track how many let's say bloodthirsties or merciless or nuclears you have i don't think that's what they are it could okay. be something like that but this could be something tied more towards prestige and your mm -hmm. ability to maybe perma unlock something even after you go ahead and reset to rank one not exactly clear but when it comes to wild cards, just so you guys know, a game like Black Ops 4 had them. Cold War also had them, but I think some folks may have forgotten that considering Cold War's Gunsmith was, again, similar to Modern Warfare 19. Mm -hmm. We had wild cards in that game. Bro, all, all the Call of Duty games are similar, bro. Like, what what, what, what we talking? <laughs> They're just gonna change one or two thing and call it brand new. And, and, and I mean, I'm glad that Prestige is coming back, but you see they're hyping people up like it's uh, it's a new feature when it's not. It's something that we had for last for over a decade. I'm glad it's coming back, and I think like Prestige is way better than the seasonal ranks because with, with seasonal ranks, you have no option, right? You have no choice. It's bare bones. People that want to rank up or get uh, or basically some, a lot of people love progression, right? Uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys as well because if I hit max rank sometimes I don't want to prestige Okay, uh, but sometimes I want to prestige if I love a game if I love a call of duty I want to prestige right so yeah with prestiging system you have the option to do it or not to do it if you're not gonna do it well consider them like the seasonal ranks kind of right that don't matter much prestige also i get it like don't matter much but at least you have the sense of progression and you're gonna unlock emblems and i i believe that this time they really need to add incentives though there needs to be an incentive to reach prestige one I believe there always have been incentive for reaching at least Prestige 1, but there never have been real incentive for reaching Prestige 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this time, I hope for Prestige Master, there's like a special gun though. You know, that would be amazing. I know that the grind would be painful, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but yeah, one in the comments if you agree with it. Because I feel like that if there is like a specific weapon we can get at Prestige Master, that would be insane, man. That would truly be insane, and I would, I, I would absolutely love that, and I feel like that a lot of people would go for Prestige 10. Like the video if you agree. Now, the only thing here is that I guess people... The, I can see people complaining if that weapon is, for example, the most OP and meta weapon. I think they gotta balance it out. It still needs to be, I mean, 
worthy, you know what I mean? Like, it needs to be a, a little bit OP for you to be uh, able to say, yeah, let me just go ahead and grind it till Prestige Master. You, you feel what I'm saying? But I, I, I do believe that every rank... They, they can do something special, right? It doesn't have to be a weapon. It can be, for example, Prestige 1, we have a perk unlock, right? That you cannot unlock without prestiging uh, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it, but again, though, I, I feel like that some of you would disagree with it because some of you don't want to prestige, and I, I totally understand that, but I think at least for prestige 10, there gotta be at least one weapon. At least one weapon. I don't know how many weapons this game is gonna have, but at least one weapon that you unlock by prestige mastering, people are gonna have real incentive, though. Let me know your thoughts, and this is that video that we did not long ago. We got our very first look at Nuketown. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left where we talked about the beta download for Black Ops 6.